I am in Eugene, Oregon, kind of close to my home, and so I'm out here feeling optimistic about scouting for a uh, potential long exposure. I was thinking, you know, I haven't really been into taking like minute long exposures, two minute long exposures lately, and so I'm gonna try to find something in this small woodland area that I can maybe get the clouds moving. So far it looks like I might have to come back here for a sunset because everything good is facing the west. And so obviously the sun sets in the west, but I'm romping around in this woodland area. It's eerie for sure. It's early in the morning and so I was kind of hoping for if anything that there would be some fog to help me kind of take away uh, any interests that I don't want in the photo shaping up to be a westward facing photograph but that's the important thing about photography is there's a lot of scouting you need to do in order to make a photo happen i might have found a cool tree here <laughs> So as I've been wandering around here, I was walking out in this field and I looked to my left and it looked like a little meadow, like hidden. So I'm gonna go try to find that. That might be a potential shot there. But one thing's for sure, as I was getting out of my car, it's parked back there, I was like, I don't think I need my boots. I'm just gonna wear my Nikes. But I actually <laughs> decided to go with the boots just in case, cause you know, I don't wanna ruin my shoes. And I can't believe I actually thought that because the, <laughs> the ground here is soaking wet. It's like a marshland. Oh man, how deep is this? Hey, not that deep. All right. See this stuff out here, these like solo trees is what's, uh, pleasing to me. There's several spots out here. <sighs> it is starting to rain now and so I would normally stay here and shoot in the rain but I don't feel like getting soaked just by scouting out the area. I've already kind of determined this is a decent spot to come back to and so I will pack up my stuff and head back to the car because it's not worth getting soaking wet for uh, no photo. Either tonight, tomorrow night, just kind of got to wait out a good sunset because it looks like it's worth it. I mean, I've got some cool meadows. If there was ice or snow or a sunset, it would enhance it. Otherwise, it's kind of boring and dead. So I am back in the area I was this morning for sunset and I'm racing because <laughs> I, uh, I got a not a head start. I'm late. And there's some color in the sunset, so I didn't think that would happen. So I raced out, and here I am. Oh, back out here, kind of close to the road that I came in on, though, because I don't think I have time. So I gotta race, set up a composition here, and get something going, because the sun is setting, and I got like five minutes, maybe. So here goes nothing. my glass here and I don't know if I have anything to cover it oh, I have pretty much a shot and it's happening right now so this is a make it or break it moment oh boy because the shot the shots beautiful okay I'm gonna improvise we're going with this minute long shutter speed at f14 ISO 50 <laughs> I hope this isn't in the shot right now. That's the gamble. Plus, if wind's blowing, it's gonna probably get on the lens either way. Shoot. If it were to... I don't even know how it's raining. There's, there's no clouds right above me. That means it should stop any second now. Ah, stop. Stop raining. If it let up just one second, more like 60. 
come on. I've got the perfect colored sunset right now. photography session. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was nice for me to get out and enjoy the uh, the weather after I have been sick for about a week. So just getting outdoors in general was pretty nice. And so yeah, it's not the greatest photo of mine, but I enjoyed it and I hope you guys did too. And so I will see you guys in the next video. You guys like just having like a nice morning cup of coffee on the way to a mini adventure? Isn't that just the best? It's like, ah, yes, the good life.